How's it going? Back at it again, and here we are in the MAC Conference Championship game, and it's another battle of Buffalo for the MAC Championship. And we blew the living doors off of these guys the last time we played them. I'm very surprised that we're even in this moment. I was expecting a Toledo rematch, and I was hoping for one. But hey, a battle of Buffalo doesn't hurt. Playing to add another trophy to the trophy case here. Why not? I believe this is Ford Field where the neutral site is. Obviously Buffalo bounced back. They only lost... I think one or two more games the rest of the year. And they responded well after Mud City's beat down. Kind of reset them and maybe focus them up for the stretch. I don't know how tough the year was going to be. UB has a chance to do the ultimate upset here on Mud City, though, and knock us out of the CFB playoff. For win the day. I think a win or a loss, you're going to see two games in this episode. It's not going to stand with the championship game. I'd say Temple was ranked. Liberty beat Jacksonville State. Pairing the teams. Buffalo is a pass-heavy offense. Kind of like them breaking that down in that way. That lets me know what I'm about to have to deal with here. Temple is ranked number 22. That's interesting. And they go to the tight end. And that's an easy first down. Keys the quarterback, and they got Sperling in the backfield. They run it with him. Got a good gain, but he did take a nice hit at the end of that one. Pushing and Sperling keeping it, and drop down quickly. AJ Polisoli. And off to Sperling, and he finds the first down and takes a nice hit. <laughs> and Sperling again. Brought down by Glass after two, but Sperling didn't do much that first game. He's already off to a good start. They got Henderson in the backfield. Good run from Henderson for the first down. Back in the backfield is Sperling, and they hand it to Sperling again. It's worked well, and another great game. it off. No, they fake it. Underneath in the first down. He batted away by Glass. and brought down after one. And off, 
Sperling goes down. Buffalo held to a field goal. Fifth and six from the half. Up and good. T.T. Claiborne decides to take it, 22. Right. Already starting the game off, here's a Wildcat. Singer going right after him with the blocks. And trying to make a move and he gets to the 36. And they go Matthews here, and he got stood up. Wide open the cave. Quick first down and a breaking tackle gets him to the 46. Cave incomplete. Hey. In the play, Nobles. He toss it to Singer. Keeping it on the ground and he gets nine. Getting our five star back, you know, looks is definitely just we're gonna have to be the guy unless we find someone in the transfer portal and moving up and making a tough grab this battle. I might have actually been secure. Taking that grab. There's no rules. It's a leaks. He tried to get the first. They did not want to give us that first down, but we get it. No bulls pistol. Go with hooks. He gets a block. Foot race. Hooks brought down at the five. God, not enough. End of the first quarter, Mud City trailing by a field goal. Onto the Maryland eye and see if we can just pound it inside. They're kind of ready up front, but we got an opening on the outside and Singer down to the one and Marion up to the line. Singer in the end zone. Ice in his veins.
Running in with Sperling, and that hits five. Sperling pushing through and getting good yardage. He's bringing him emotion. They try to run it outside, but met in the backfield. Spurling. And Murray was there. Down, but he got the first. Staying in the five, two, and might just time to ditch it here. They're shredding us. Her handoff. No, we kept it in that time. It worked. Okay, Over the middle, first down. The top touchdown, you be. Nick McMillan with the catch. Gonna fair catch it. Out in a shotgun here. Handing it off and Singer cutting up. And getting Nate. Into the play is Nobles. We screen it to Singer, and there he goes. Cutting back and cross the 50 now. Let's go to Matthews and he just gets the catch. Second and three now for Nobles. Pressured and down he goes. On the ready. Ready. Is it to McCabe and out of reach for McCabe? QB forces a punt. In the air, weakly kicked. They're catching it at the 27. Ready up. And 
and Sterling brought down after one. Underneath tomorrow, and he gets a good game. And off to Sperling. Breaking a tackle and shifting. He's got 82 yards. One more time, and this time he's stuffed. Goes to the two minute warning. Screen and first down for Sperling, and more gets to the 32. Got keys that time. A pressure in his face. Underneath. Finally brought down at the 29. Caught over the middle to Morrow, and a fumble! Mud City recovers, and Glass goes down at the floor. What a recovery. Eric James Jr. forced the fumble. And there goes Singer. That really could have marked the turning point of this game. How noble. And it's a rock outside, and that's Smith. Cave intercepted and Buffalo pick six to Dion Crawford. Terrible decision, I made. And they score off of what we should have scored, but it, it wakes us up, I hope. It's TT Claiborne. Down 10. He goes on the draw. Noble's using his speed and he calls time. again he's just gonna have to do it he gets down all in the time again Shakir out of bounds for eight. Ready, 
McCabe, what a catch. Was gonna keep it and go out of bounds after six. Out to Matthews. Again to Matthews, he gets out of bounds with two seconds. How to kick the field goal. We do get it to make it a seven point game. We should have just not through the pick six and we would have been in good shape, but is what it is. Both teams with a turnover, but one with a more costly one. Both been running the ball well, and we need to just stick to our run. That will get us over the hump. And Claiborne catching it, taking it to the 25. On the set. Here's Mud City singer. In motion and a jet sweep to Hooks. There he goes. One touch and he is gonna tie it. Touchdown, Mud City. Ethan Hooks. And that one goes through. We almost shanked the game tying PAT. Turn it and brought down at the 17. Can we stop these guys now? They've been enjoying themselves. And complete over the middle. That is stuffed. And over the middle, and Moro getting six. is brought down and UV forced the punt. First and two. Tomlinson. Singer and then Singer bring over hooks, throw it off his back foot. Ethan hooks with the catch down the field.
unbelievable play there. Of course they weren't expecting it. Now we finally bring the quarterback back out. Even the play I wanted, but... Now we're not going to get the same look. And Singer gets two more. Simmons. And now it's Smith who gets a couple. Up to Weeks, bat it away. UB says no. Marcus Cooper. And Kenton. Oh, he made it. That might be his longest of his career. Kenton struggles. Get one when we need it. Big hit and brought down to the 15. Here's Sperling getting a good burst. Sperling and has nowhere to go. Joel Glass met him in the hole. Harris couldn't get there in time and Morrill with another grab today. Nowhere to go. Spurling speared in the backfield by Murray. Screen. And Glass is there to make it a no gain. Third and 15. Screen. Moro, nothing. That was McMillan. It's fourth and eight. Not the best punt. And here goes Tomlinson past the 50. Breaking a tackle and getting to the 41. Rolling, rolling. 
Singer. On the upside, that was just an awkward play. We'll take it to the end of the Very close game here, though. Still anybody's game. We're not going to count them out. Definitely got a score. Terribly a touchdown. Singer broke a tackle and getting six. I like that call. I hadn't seen him. Third and four, running it right at him. They weren't ready for this either. Right up the middle for a dash. And Singer only 61 yards. Singer following his blockers and getting nine more. Bring in hooks. Motioning. And we might have caught him. Hooks, foot race down at the five. And Singer. And this is a walk in. Touchdown, Singer. Making it a 10 point game our way. Starting to take back control of the game. down at the 14. Now we can just dare him to keep going with Spurling. We welcome the Spurling runs now. These has not been the guy we've seen earlier in the season and that is broken up. Second and 10. Keys. That is caught for four. Chance more or another catch. Third and six. Brought down, and it's fourth and five. They're going for it. And the pressure gets him. It's first and goal now after the turnover on downs. Juan Denard. And it's a singer. It's another touchdown. Seventeen point game. And the pressure makes him throw it away. That is caught by McMillan. And this is underneath. 
and caught by the running back, Mark Anthony Scott. And jumped in the air and incomplete. Second and ten for Keys. Brought down. Jamelo Harris. Third and seventeen. Pressured, sliding after gaining five. And it's intercepted by Javarius Lumpkin, number 11 on the year. Pitches it out. Singer. Nobles felt the pressure stepping up, sliding. Bringing the motion up in the air. It's a flag. It's going to be a legal man down the field, I'd imagine. Pass interference. Pass interference. On Terrence Weeks? What? Okay. Sure thing, guy. I'm out in the Wildcat in on first and ten. And here's Singer, he keeps. No pass interference, gonna get called on this play, a 15 yard gain. Second and five. Noble's taken off. Coming back to Matthews, and he gets it complete to the 15. Two minutes to go. Out of the Maryland eye. Noble's fakes it to Singer. Throws it to him, batted away. That one hung in the air for a minute. The Singer and the Wildcats. They just bring it right at him. And he got brought down after a couple. Out in the flex bone. Just a weeks and just getting a fourth and two now. Always wants to change it. Fourth and two. And he's brought down. I'm not going to give points there. But okay. Some time. Intercepted and a pick six from John Trey Russell. A 
And now it's pouring two interceptions in a row for Mud City. Let's just get the backups in here of the mass sub feature about time. down at the 14 and we'll see what UB can do. They have just been absolutely stumbled. They are just outmatched in this kind of matchup here. They played their hearts out though. We gotta give them that. Intercepted for a third time in a row. That's the backups. Is that with the pick? The 21. idea who that is. Doesn't matter much, but here's the Sean Wheeler and he will get a chance. This is the back. They give it to him and big blocking for him. They go full house, give it to Hooks on the sweep. Makes one tackle. Second and eight. Keep it. Didn't play work. He picked Kenton and he gets another one through. Well, that helps Kenton. He's made a lot of field goals lately. He's not been the guy he was at the beginning of the year. Or even in the middle. Be undefeated if Ken was picking field goals the way we kind of thought he would. Quinn and Lufer was all on him. That should do it. We're gonna get another playoff. Underneath, and that'll do it. The Battle of Buffalo goes to Mud City's way for the second time in one season. We win the MAC championship after being down at the half 17 to 10. And we definitely responded our way that we could and opened up the offense quick with Ethan Hooks' jet sweep touchdown. That's pretty much the turning point of the game. And here's a Mac champion to our collection. Second year in a row, we win the MAC champion. And you gotta wonder how long will this team be in the MAC? What could be changing of the guard here? Nobles didn't have to do much today. That's fine. Singer, he got a passing touchdown. 100 on Brown. Matthews was the leading receiver along with folks. And that's just the story, you know, that's what happened. And we'll see who we draw here in the playoff matchup. It'll be interesting for sure. 
Mac champions. Good winning there. We'll advance a week here. And a Heisman moment. Achievement is unlocked. So that really must mean something. Jamal Harris. And Emil Singer is the player of the week. Emil Singer wins National Offensive Player of the Week week and the player of the year award goes to Emil Singer with his 35 touchdowns 1700 rushing yards but and he wins the 2025 Heisman Trophy to go with it well deserving Jamelo Harris best defensive player don't really know about that but take it best running back Emil Singer no doubt Javarius Lumpkin, no doubt about this. 11 interceptions. What a year. Jamal Harris, best linebacker with 10 sacks. And we get to play Iowa in the college football playoff. And it looks like we did not earn a bye. We did not even move up. And... Um, staff moves here. George's defensive coordinator left. Nothing big. Early national signing day, I want to take a look. And we're actually falling behind some teams now. I'm kind of concerned there. And of course, Parker is now not as interested either. Gotta hope we can win them over. Man, he's right there on committing. Wow, dude. Some of these battles have just been sad. For Spencer Medlock. Went to there. Gonzalez locked us out, looks like. We'll have to see how that goes, you know. It'll. Interesting to see how recruiting shakes up after all this. But Emil Singer took the Heisman Trophy away. He trailed the whole year. And it said that Kubinek is in first place. So this must be bugged. No idea. It's got him in first on this screen, but... Maybe it was just first place votes I got more of. No idea how the votes go on this game. Let's look at the bracket before we get into it. We drew Iowa the first round, and the winner gets to play Clemson, the number two team in the country. Ohio State made it. So there's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven teams from the Big Ten out of 12. There's one ACC team, one MAC team, of course, and two Big 12 teams, and then one SEC team at number one. It'll be very interesting to see how this bracket plays out you know on the road to play Clemson will be tough but obviously we got to beat Iowa first and they ranked higher than us for a reason let's look at Iowa's schedule first before we continue of course this is our final schedule we beat Kent State who almost beat us Destroyed Buffalo, destroyed Central Michigan, destroyed Ohio and Bowling Green. And then 
the sky fell, we lost to Toledo, we beat the heck out of Syracuse, did a very good job against Western Michigan, and we beat up a pretty good team in Liberty as well, blew out Ball State, and kind of some shaky endings there, but then we bounced back with a good win in Buffalo, and now we get to play Iowa and Iowa City. And we lost one of my quarterbacks I wanted, I think, to Iowa. And I kind of want to see if he's even on there. But Iowa started the year off losing to Michigan in, year, in week one. And then they beat Iowa State. They beat Fort Atlantic. They beat USC, a good team. They even beat Penn State. They beat Michigan State. They lost to Maryland, but then they beat Nebraska. So they got some good, impressive wins on their on their resume for sure. You know, they're gonna have a tough defense. Can we imagine? There's something I wanted to see now, and I forgot. Oh yeah, the quarterback that they took from me. That was the one player I didn't see. I remember now. I wanted him. He was from Iowa. I actually got a better quarterback, though, afterwards. But Caleb Mc Christian McGroyer, 67 overall. I was intrigued with him. But I'm actually thinking I dodged a bullet because his throwing isn't the best. A very good athlete when it comes to that is speed 91. I mean, very good athlete, but the guy we got, I think, is one of the better in that class that we could have got. And we got a free star in Mike Hart, Matthew Hart, 74 overall. And he's got 96 throwing power to go with his 90 free speed. So I think we actually kind of got a favor done from us from Iowa. But anyway, let's get into the game and let's see how it goes. They have a great defense and a pretty good offense. I mean, they're ranked the same as us, so should be very good. Let's just get into it. In this way, if we can advance, you know, we'll have the next two games and then a single episode for the, for the final. We might even combine the offseason and the final. Because the offseason really doesn't take all that long. But, let's see. And I mean, our offseason could start tonight if we don't win this football game. So, definitely got to treat this like it is our last game, if it is. And we get to go against the Iowa defense to start. And what a boot. Iowa. It's a tough place to play here. Sent a lot of defensive players to the NFL. And here is a five yard game. Bring in two tight ends now. How nobles. Running it for a three yard game. Right. 
Right at him and Singer. Trying to take him out of the game early. This crowd we're playing against here. And there goes Matthews. They are on him. They are not fooled. It's the shotgun now. Pressured and up in the air and almost picked. He sent the whole army after him. His nobles. I'm trying it again and this time they set it up. Nobles and Singer breaking free and getting the first down. I don't know how we did it, but we are grateful we did. First and ten, the crowd's still in it. And very short yardage there. It's Nobles in the shotgun set. Babe, what a catch, he held on. And Trent McCabe with the second grab already. I'm out in the tight shotgun. They run it, no first down. And hooks. Open too. And hooks gets the first down. What a gutsy call there. To stay with it. I've seen her back out there. Singer plows for five more. Not afraid to get nasty if they have to. Now they run it to the outside and nothing is there. As the drive goes, the pressure builds. There's no balls. It's caught and he fell down. Take the points here and you try to break greedy again. Feeling kind of greedy. Come out with two tight ends. And off, Singer, first down on fourth down in a six yard game. That's a full house. Let's give it to Hooks. He follows his blocks and into the end zone. Round and pound at its finest. What a drive. 15 plays it took to find the end zone. It took well over seven minutes. That's what it's going to take today to get it done against this team, and that's a good hit delivered.
Running it. And brought down behind the line. And great by Galloway in a good game. And a short game, and it's a first down, and a big blast after the catch. Here's the run, and it's five more. I would. Big package and good gain of from first down. Running it. And he found the seam and he gets another good gain. End of the first, it's seven to nothing, but Iowa moving the football. They're waving to the Children's Hospital on the sideline. Tradition here at Iowa. Good tradition, you gotta respect stuff like that. You know, it's pretty cool. Iowa moving the football well, getting big chunk plays. He said, it's caught but out of bounds. And Galloway slowed him down enough. And it's broken up, and they're going to have to kick a field goal. Fifth and ten. Up and through. Iowa on the board. There's no returning on Iowa, even if we wanted to. This dude is booming the kick. Never seen anything like it on this game yet. That dude can really kick the ball. Now we go, Singer, left side. Big burst in a first down and huge hit delivered. Stay in the eye. Push up the middle and another first down off Singer. First and ten, flex bone, and they f swing it to hooks. And he pushes through for five. I think they're happy with whatever game they get right now. Stay in the flex bone. Elbows. Wide open hooks. That's no balls in the pistol. Completes it for nothing. Come out in the single back. Second and 11, they run it. 
Singer breaking a tackle and getting some. Bounces it and Hooks just gets across the line again. There's no balls. Cabe. Six yard gain. Tried to push up into the pocket, but got stood up. That's a pistol set for Nobles, third and six. Cabe, first down. Old Reliable. First and ten. Babe again, a tough grab for him. He's just getting short games. Out in the spread pistol. Running at Adam Singer and he pushes through for five. Third and two on the two. You do. Bring it at him. Found the hole and in the end zone for Emil Singer. Down at the 13. Some time for Iowa. They reverse pass it and nothing there. Second and 18. Just gonna hand it. And they get a big game for a first down. Some 10. Making changes. On it. Harris whipped and no one was there other than Thankfully, number six. And two minute warning. Our guys do get the football at halftime. Over the middle, and that is caught. Pushing the running back. And that is almost picked. Batted away. Big third down for Iowa. Oh, 
batted away again, and Iowa forced the punt. Russ in an interesting spot, though. Been running the ball all day. We got to throw it to get down here, but I got a little trick off my sleeve that might, might work. It's the Wildcats. Bringing hooks in motion. You gotta wonder, did they scout it? And they did. Hooks had one man to beat. He couldn't get there. Grab another trick. No rules. Second and 14. He's smoked. Iowa, quick timeout. Leads it to Smith, and Iowa gets the football right back. They own this. That is off, and Iowa in the almost scoring position already. Mm -hmm. picker they have. First and ten. Underneath, first down. Wide open to the nine. Pressured, moving, and throwing it away. It is caught at the four. Third and goal at the four. Time is ticking. Running and sacked and they're, do they got timeouts? They do and I'm out Iowa. We get a field goal before halftime. Up and it's good. And Iowa trails by eight going into halftime. Take an eight point lead going into halftime. An interesting game. Singer, 70 yards. It's definitely been the future to Heisman winner. Ethan Hooks got us going with the first touchdown. Iowa just held the two field goals so far. They get the football to start. You know they want to tie the game. In the air, definitely returnable. Jumping over a man and brought down at the 24. Missing and the jet sweep goes for a big game. The 
This is a first down and more, a shuffle into the 30, just like that. Look the play. Brought down in the backfield. Jamelo Harris. Second and 14. Screen pass. Gain a seven. They hurry to the line. And he is hit as he threw in. Other field goal attempt here. This should be a chip shot for their guy though. 40 yarder. He nails it. And now it's 14 to nine. Definitely a good picker. Looks just gonna fair catch it. And out in the eye. Let's go with the call. We couldn't get the play we wanted. Come out in the play we want. Second and eight. Noble is an RPO, and here goes Matthews. Good game. Still in the eye. Great battle in motion. Flip it to Singer. There's blocks for him, and here he goes. Past the 50 to the 40. Into the 38. On the set. Nobles. Again, they're leaving him open, and there goes Matthews for another good game, making him pay. Second and inches. Singer gets a decent game. and he pushes through for four more. He's taking a beating though. And there is Weeks on the RPO and that gets a good game. Wing-eye four now. In comes Mosley. They beef it up. And Mosley gets one. Battle in motion. Pushing it and Mosley losing a yard. Out in the flex bone. Elbows. The defense chance starts. Hooks out of bounds. He's going to have to kick a field goal. And then, no, he missed it. Got to be kidding me. Kenton, couldn't make it.
Offside. False start. No way it's on us. Wow. How, bro? What the F, man? What? Second and two. That healed us right back. Running it right at us, and I won't give in. Fighting for nine. Second and one, motioning. Got the first down. Keeping it, catching it over the middle. Six and ten. Also couldn't pick it, and a first down. End of the third. Hawkeyes trying to take the lead here. Down five. Been a defensive game. And a lot about running the football and throwing it short. Throwing it, touchdown Iowa. And they take the lead. Going for two now. Bro, no, we caught it for the two. What the heck? Iowa taking a lead now into the fourth. Starting to feel the wear and tear now. Went off a missed field goal that would have had this game tied right now. And Hooks is absolutely stuffed. Incomplete. Maybe Weeks should have been the guy. Okay. Oh, good. Here we go. Third and 13. Intercepted by Iowa. You gotta pick that, man. You go right to your hands. Third and four. Pressured, caught it. First down. Go 
broke a tackle and more and gets six. And it looks like our season's coming to an end here if we don't get a stop. Oceaning. Counter it. Brought down after one. Underneath touchdown, Iowa. They have took in the game over. Fifteen unanswered. Not falling for it. Underneath the singer. Oh, he got hit as he threw. He had no chance. He got to go for it. And picked off again. And Iowa is going to send Mud City home in the first round of the playoff. A terrible performance from Nobles in the offense. And you could even throw the defense in there too. 17 point game. And now it's starting to look like the opposite of what Mud City does. It's batted. Wanted weeks. Second and ten. Went deep to him and batted away again. Third and ten. On the weeks for a third time, and now he gets it. Over the top in Ross Simmons. It's dropped by Ross Simmons. He couldn't hold on. on 
Intercepted for the third time. And this is how the seniors will go out. Now first round defeats to Iowa and Mud City unable to make it back to the national championship game. In their second season. Had the game in total control, but Iowa has turned it upside down. Better RP on us. First down, and Iowa just continues to move the ball. Not quite on their level. Running play, broken a tackle, and now brought down. And bouncing it in a first down rate again. Just call a timeout so they're just needed. This game is over. Finally brought him down. And another first down run. This should do it. Iowa is going to advance. Nine points, but then scored 22 straight to end it. Basically 25 straight. And of course, Marco Melanin is, is the player of the game. Did enough to win. Our defense just didn't look like our defense at all the last couple games. We couldn't get any interceptions. And about that, our defense is not that talented. I mean, that's what made us special, but this is how the season ends. This is how Neil Singer, the Heisman winner season ends. Caleb Noble is his worst game maybe ever. That's how he goes out. Singer gets 100 yards. It's the garbage effort from Mud City, probably our worst loss so far. Both of the other losses were one score games. This was a blowout. And yeah, that definitely doesn't help. And very commits to old miss the week after, so there's that. We miss out on another talented defensive player. And we're missing an offensive coordinator now. Did I hire a coach.
Add in Cedric Jones. Let's see if he adds Hassan. He hired Cedric Jones. And I like his pipe his pipeline of South Florida, that helps. Didn't even look. Coach stability went down. Went up to a four star prestige school though, so that's good. Pro potential is one to an A plus. It looks like Penn State wins the national title over Kansas State. And how the bracket turned out after we got eliminated. Well, Iowa got destroyed by Clemson. And then Clemson had a close game with Penn State. But Penn State wins. And they moved on and won the national title. And maybe we didn't belong after all. Maybe we did overachieve. Let's just see the All-Americans. We did finish at 11 in the final. Final poll. No other first team All Americans. We do get Julian Johnson Harris as a second teamer. And for Mac, Neil Singer. I mean, it's the Mac, who cares? The end of the season, though, we do finish 12 and 2 at number 11. Unfortunate, bitter ending, but let's see who is leaving now. And all these players are graduating, and Noble's projected for the fourth round. Galloway, fourth round. Beecher, second round. He should be a first round guy. McCabe works his way up to a second round. Singer is only projected to be a fourth round pick. CJ Driver, seventh round pick. Turnbull. And Lumpkin. Got a lot of people projected to go to the draft though this year. Definitely a, a good year for that. Yeah, I guess that is. Fight would be Of course we lose another player to Penn State. I'm just getting sick and tired of that. Of course we lost Barrier. I guess there's a bug here with Parker. At twelve hundred hours right now, and good enough for me, and I didn't want to even do that. 
Well, I mean, it's not the best, but hey, it's on the board. And he still looks pretty good. My prestige go down. Oh, man. How are we even gonna sell him on coming here? He doesn't like this stuff. <laughs> I'm in. We'll have him meet the alumni anyway and hope for the best. Well, Marvin is not number one on my thing anymore, and damn, he wants to play at home. That really hurts. But man, he's got Minnesota up there, man, so the home shit shouldn't matter that much, bro. I got 40 hours left. Well, I saw Robinson. He is a true sophomore. He wants to come here. He's from Georgia. <laughs> In the number one corner. 
number one player in the transfer border is also very interested, Bellamy. He's a true junior. But, man, I think Elias Robinson might be a real good player to actually grab here. some time into Bellamy. I mean, not Bellamy, but... And we don't have to send the house for a punter. Okay, so he really likes playing style, so... I think that's how I spend my points. And we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, draft results, why not? Second round for McKay, Bleacher, Nobles won in round three, Singer round three, Galloway. A good player class, Jordan. Jamelo Harris. Damn, yeah, that's a lot of turnover there. It's a good class. At eight or nine players, nine players drafted in one year. That's uh definitely helps the pro potential there. John Parker, he comes and that is needed. Only commit though. Montana's is definitely contemplating. Now we can actually schedule a visit for him. And yeah, he really is not in on a lot of things. We can get him on coach prestige though. Always does the trick. Got four commits now. And Marvin has flipped. That's right before his visit, too, so that's definitely good for us. McGrath is definitely reconsidering now, so I guess that helps. Definitely sending the house on Robinson. I want him. He might be a huge ad for this team. Let's look at the transfer portal real quick. I number one left tackle, and what is he? A true junior. Kind of interested in running back. What about tight end?
crazy that none of them I mean Zaire old Spencer could be interesting he's a pipeline player that could be like a sneaky little ad oh yeah we need safety Nothing there. Add him to the board. It's not that good. Can catch the ball in traffic, but I don't know what else he provides. Not in. You know, I think I'll be fine. Let's see. Choose these points first. Need a defensive tackle. the best one left. Alright, yep, that's fair enough. I think that'll be good.
Oh yeah, dude. Look at Elias Robinson, bro. This is a gift from the NCAA gods after losing to Iowa. This might be one of our best players ever. Send the house on him now. I think we're good. We got 65 hours to carry over to. Let's see what we can do with these points. We spend 15 motivator. We get master motivator, and that would. Give him some boost here, but. Upgrade the running back just for next year because I want to have more out, more of a chance to get a guy next year. Montana still is not flipped and he's very close to UCF. It doesn't seem like he's going to come.
We'll put those two on there and see which one's better. Oh, they're both bust. I'm more interested in uh, Eric Vimalgo. Pants a week and hopefully we see some more people commit. Get Tavon Camote, Kevin Gibbs. Lots of people have not committed though and that is definitely concerning. We do get two more. But Montana says screw us and he heads off to elsewhere. Final week of recruiting. Ninety two speed, ninety three jumping. Good spec catch and acceleration. I kinda like Mevis. Ooh, and this Angel Davis looks like the guy. And we'll add him on there just to see. And yeah, that's our final week of recruiting. We'll see how it shakes up. David Ritter, Jeremiah Tolbert. Get Angel Davis the wide receiver, Mark Mervis. Wow, a lot of people did not come. What did we get? Missed out on Sexton, McGrath. 
No way, Elias Robinson went to Maryland. Oh my god, I'm so PO'd of that one. That was a dream player right there, man. And he wanted to come. What he changed his mind? No idea. They didn't visit him, nothing. Is he from Maryland? You're from Connecticut, man. Fuck you, man. You're a damn dick for that, man. Oregon finished with a top class to get a couple free stars. They took the one free star I wanted. And Ty Middleton, the center. And of course, Oklahoma took a mod stills. And where's Ole Miss? Yes, they took Roseboom and a safety I wanted. Where are we? Finished 35, which I think was an improvement from a year ago. We do get four, four stars, which is nice. 14 free stars. So we do add 18 people to the team. Not terrible. Definitely could have been better, but what are you gonna do? Um, it's just, it's just whatever, I guess. Pretty good initial ratings here for Angel Davis too. He's a 69. He'll be definitely a player to uh, to like here. Man, we needed a tight end. I'll we'll have to move one of these guys over to tight end, honestly. Blankenship might be the guy. Yeah, we're going to change Blankenship to a tight end. Because we need him. Shakir will be the starter over Blankenship, but Blankenship will be there for sure. Man, I can't believe they freaking did that, man. I didn't get the running back either? What the heck happened there? I did. Where is he? Where's McGrath? They assign him to a random position.
There they are. Okay, very woke. I remember what I now read her was the past or she. Can't remember what I got ropes for. Was he a guard or is it center maybe? I'm very confused. Put him out off guard for now. I don't really know what he was brought on for. And yeah, that's signing day. That's position changes. And here's the results of training. Julian Johnson Harris, I didn't think he was still on this team, but another year for him. And uh, Franklin Moses Shakir is all the way up to an 86 already. Holy cow. Week's not that big of an improvement. Wheeler Hearts is seventy nine now. What about Mon? Mon up to a seventy two. Simmons in eighty one, so he's not terrible. Tavier Johnson jumps up above Quentin Lufer. Corners are definitely a concern, and you know we're very young there. Defense does not look that good, but Manu Kuo he looks very good as a kicker. He will definitely. Be taking Joey Kenton's spot. I think Joey Kenton's gonna get cut. And we're under the roster, so we are gonna keep everybody. Have a hundred and ten points. Nice. Don't think I'll spend them all though, but definitely we'll look to think about what we want to boost here.
let's max that out. Get all these good. And having a young quarterback, we might as well give him all the boosts we can. And I think I'm gonna save on these 40 points. No reason for me to spend them right now. And I'm going to just keep it how it is. And thinking about adding a team here to the Mac. Yeah, I'm going to add a team to the Mac. I'm going to be adding Boston College to the Mac. And we got it split by division now. I kind of want to How do we want to do this? Eastern Michigan had two wins and UB lost to them. Pretty sad. I'd like to have all the Ohio teams and uh, Michigan teams. I don't call where Bowling Green is. I just don't think it's fair to add Bowling Green to our side. Speaking of which, where's Temple? Temple is in the American Conference. I think I'll keep Temple where they are.
Where did we put Yukon? Did we add Yukon to the American Conference? Yeah, Yukon's in Conference USA. I'm fine with the changes I got. Again, the division at in Boston College will help the prestige a little bit. And plus, I want to play Boston College. And we do have Boston College on the schedule. A rematch against Toledo. And even UB's on there. We get Temple. Definitely want to play Temple. Maybe we want UConn. I'm trying. It says UMass and I mean UConn and
I don't know if I can find another rival order than Yukon and Boston College here. I don't know if Liberty is the team that I want to play this year, though. I'm open that up. I want Yukon. I want to buy a week before Toledo. Cow is interesting. Let's play Temple. Four games on the road to start the year. Games we got on the schedule. Three, six, nine. Yeah, we just have to change these games into something more ideal. Play Baylor. Let's put Michigan State on there. It's a tough challenge, but we'll up for it. That gives us one, two, three, four, five.
And we'll take a another home game. Start off four on the road, we'll end with four at home. And I like this schedule. And uh, just want to look at something here. The number two player is interested. The number three player wide receiver is interested. And he's in the pipeline state, so these two are actually achievable at five star. And, uh, Definitely intrigued. Leon Molden is interested. A lot of pipeline players. Bostic, a right tackle, free star. He's interested, but of course you got Penn State on there, so never know. Definitely intriguing. Steel Breakers Pro Potential and Definitely gonna be looking at running back, but that'll do it for year two of Mud City. It ended on a bad way, but not all can end well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it.